Duke. And I'm Lola. And today we're in Brookings, Oregon for Curry County Cruising. That's right, baby. We're going to check out all these cars, including these little woodies right here. Look at these. And there's a surfboard. Is this, is this the nicest car at the show or the nicest car in the galaxy? In the galaxy. <laughs> this is a gorgeous one. I would definitely ride in that and wave at everybody. Nick Orcutt. Where are you from? Uh, right here in Brookings. Right here? It looks like you're from the Curry County Cruisers themselves. Yes, I am. I've <laughs> been a member for several years. Well, I love it. And what have we got here? Uh, this is a 1929 uh, Rolls-Royce Boat Tail Roadster. Uh, it is amazing. Yeah. They're, 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 uh, this was was uh, made during the time of the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. So they first of all, they didn't sell very many of them, and, and not very many of them survived after yeah. that. It is, it's kind of rare. I was going to say, we go to car shows all over. I think this is the second time I've ever laid eyes on one in 10 years. So, oh, yeah. so uh, what is the story? How did you get it? Uh, it belonged to my father-in-law. Uh, he bought it originally with the intent to go on the great race okay. uh, with a bunch of uh, you know antique classic cars. Mm -hmm. uh, it, that never happened. He got older and said, I, I'm getting too old to drive it and maintain it. And he said, I'm, I'm thinking about getting rid of it. Well, I, I jumped up and down. And, <laughs> me, me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I was able to uh, get that. So I love it. Yeah. So was it in this shape when you got it? Uh, pretty much in this shape. Uh, I have replaced the wheels and tires. I've gone through and replaced all the electrical. Yeah. Pulled out the engine and trans and, and gone through both of those. So is it and, still like, the? is it a 10-cylinder, 12-cylinder? What do these things have? Uh, this originally had an inline six cylinder six, with, okay. with very large coffee can type pistons. Well, this car would look great. Uh, there's an event called the Race of Gentlemen you should look into online. The I, Race of They Gentlemen. have one in down in uh, SoCal and they have one in New Jersey and they race down the beach in these things. All right, okay, I will look into that. There you go. Well, thank you so much today, I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. David Bash. Where are you from? Grants Pass, Oregon. What have we got here, man? It's a 1962 Oldsmobile Starfire. Wow, I don't see too many of these on the road anymore. No, no you don't. <laughs> it has the high compression 394 motor that even the 88s, the 98s, the F85s did not have. Oh, wow. So it's 345 horse. So Pretty much resurrected this car for the last 10 months or so. Oh, it, wow. It was the point where Aesthetically, it was still beautiful, but uh, almost nothing worked. I ba basically limped it home from Medford to Grants mm -hmm. Pass, and I've been underneath the dashboard and underneath the car most <laughs> all winter. But you got the original motor and everything, it looks like. Yeah, it's got 76,000 original miles. Oh, wow. And everything's box stock. Uh, I've, uh, I've kept it as original as, as possibly can. I love that. So even the interior is all original? Yeah, it's been done 
redone before I bought it, okay. back to original. And, uh, and this looks like an original factory color as well? It is, yeah. Original color, it's Wedgwood Mist. Yeah, yeah, it's a really pretty blue. Well, I love it. This is a pretty unique car. Yeah, there's not too many. All right, man. Well, thank you so much for bringing it today. I yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. So it made the two hour drive by itself? You didn't even tow it or anything? I didn't tow it or anything. See, this is what I like to hear. And he said this is the original radio that he has working and everything. Yeah, I nice. found somebody in Medford who reconditions... Uh, like tube radios? Yeah, tube type radios. Wow. So even the radio's original. Chevy half ton. It's a big old truck for back in the day. Yeah, I've got mud flaps. I don't have baffles or anything. Hey Lola. Yes. Got a red T-Bird coupe right here for you. I see that. So pretty. Rose City Thunderbird. I assume this must be from the big city of Portland. How you doing, brother? Doing good, man. Oh. Are you enjoying the show, buddy? Are you enjoying Jackie. the show? I'm sorry. It's you guys. I see you guys on YouTube all the time. Oh, oh thank nice. You. <laughs> Hi, gentlemen. How are you guys today? Having fun cars. And I was just talking to Lola. I'm like, if I could get the owner of this Woody or the owner of that Woody, I'd love to interview him. And I got both of you guys today. So uh, what are your names? I'm Richard. And I'm Ken. Ken. And what have we got here, guys? Mine's a 1950 Mercury station wagon. I love it. This is a 1949 uh, Ford Custom wagon. All right. So which one's better? No, no, don't ask. <laughs> actually, actually his is. <laughs> so, and it looks like both of you guys have original motors in them. So what are you running in this one? This is a Ford, the Mercury Flathead, which is the same as a Ford, the Mercury yeah. Flathead. Okay. And you guys looks like you got all the original wood on them. Yes. You got all the good stuff going yes. on here. Yeah. So what got you guys in the woodies? I rode around in them a lot when I was a little kid on my, <laughs> on my aunt's ranch. So they just had a, have a soft spot for them. Same for you? You do. The same thing in high school. My buddy had a woody wagon. He used to call it the swamp rat, and the wood was pretty rough condition. And that's probably what got it started. Did you get them in this condition, or did yes. you guys do some? Okay, nice. This, this one I've done, this... done some stuff to, but it was uh, about 75% uh, done when I got it. Seventy-five percent done. Is this the original paint color on it? No, they didn't have that color. I back, didn't think so. Back okay. then, but it's uh, the color it was when I bought it, and, I, and then I repainted it the same color just mm -hmm. because it's a good yeah. color for the car. It's gorgeous. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you for your time today. I appreciate it. Well, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Enjoy the sun. That is amazing. Look at the flames that they did into the body. You see that, Phil? Yeah. Thank you. 
was on news last week up at the Roadie Fest. You know. Hey, would you like to be interviewed? Why not? Well, how are you today, fine sir? Oh, doing pretty good. A little cool this morning, but <laughs> typical coastal fog. Yeah, well, we came back out this morning to catch some more rides. And so what is your name? Uh, Chuck Wright. And where are you from, Chuck? Originally, I'm uh, from Hollister, California, but I've been here 30 years. 30 years? Okay, well, I call you an Oregonian then. <laughs> and what have we got here? Well, I got a 1950 Mercury. The guy had it, and it wasn't quite finished because it's got a big 455 holes in it. Okay. And it had some body damage, and uh, some of the handles weren't taken off. Had a local body shop take the rest of the door handles off on the side. And I love it. It's shaved and everything. And I, it took me two years to rebuild the motor because it had a 455 Olds, came out of 68 Olds Tornado. And it was a last year of the high performance motors, 11 and a half to one compression ratio. So I had to have pistons made in Reno to drop it down to run the better gas. So uh, so you did most of the work yourself? Was it painted at all when you got work. it? I did most of it. But was it painted this color when you got it? Yes, it was. It's called Electric Red. It's a stock 93 Ford Probe color. So it's oh, a really? stock Ford color. So it's easy to match. The body shop here in town redid it. Zooter's body and he put it in and it's got the ghost flames all mm -hmm. put into the hood. So I love the ghost flames. Looks like you even had the headlights customized. Yeah, the, these are off. It was like this when I got it. I uh, these that. are these are 54 Ford rims, and they put it out in French. Tech. The bumper is a replica of 1950 Plymouth. That's it's what I was thinking. It's a bumper, yeah. It's a it's off of a 50 Plymouth. It's a replica. Okay. It's a Gibbs aftermarket. Tijuana style tuck and roll leather. Oh. <laughs> like I said, I saw it right away. I'm like, I know what I'm looking at here. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time today. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of work with it, but over can the I, years. Can we see the hood? The, the oh, you were going to talk to that guy. <laughs> Four fifty-five hours. It's got about four hundred horsepower. Is that all? Just four hundred? That's about. <laughs> it doesn't pass gas stations. <laughs> <laughs> no. Leave it to my buddy Phil here to find the right ride. Right. I walk by this one, I'm like, yep, I know which one he's got talking about. You got one of these starting in your garage right now. I, I do, 53 GMC, <laughs> so um, eager to get building. Yeah, there's a little difference there. Gritty already. That's all pretty much the same. That is clean. Thank you. Yeah, that's 700 miles on it now. 700 yeah, miles. Wow. Out. Man, it's starting to get old. Time <laughs> <laughs> for a rebuild. Oh. Did you do this all yourself? Uh, no, I had a lot of help. I designed every lick and piece and chunk and all the black that you it see on like it. It looks like you've completely custom modded it. Yeah, it's... There's a lot of... A lot of cussing. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of mistakes that you fix. <clears throat> Everything that's black on it is not paint. It's Cerakote. Painted everything, everything black. We hung it up, painted it. Fine, sir. Fine, thank you. And what is your name? Jerry James. And where are you from? Glendale, Oregon. All right. And it looks like you got a sweet ride here, and it might have been from the Portland Roadster Show. It was built for the Portland Roadster Show in 1968. Wow. The so pa the paint on the body is original from 1960. 1923 Ford T Bucket Roadster. I love it, man. Highly and modified. And what are you running in it? 355 Chevy. Okay. Uh, cam lifters, two fours. Um, about four, 450, somewhere out there. More than I want yeah. and need. <laughs> it would probably weighs about 1,500 pounds. It weighs 1,800. 1,800 exactly. pounds, yeah. exactly. Exactly, yeah. That means it moves fast. Yeah. yeah, it's quick. And you got the little chain steering wheel from the 60s and everything. Yeah, well, I tried to make it. It was pretty much junk when I got it, and I tried to rebuild it. 
the way I remember them mm -hmm. from the '60s, and it's I think I've I think I've done that. You did a really good job. Yeah. That's what I noticed right away. Thank you for I sure. That, yeah, you know, it, it's a fun project. I'm I'm 78 years old. Mm -hmm. I'm not ready to give it up yet. Well, it's got a little Ed Roth in it, which I like that <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, it's got everything. <laughs> it's got a, it's got a mix of all the masters at yeah. that time. You know, I've got the rat. I got a rat fink doll that goes with it, and uh, you know all that stuff. I love and, it. But it's it's fun. It, it's a it's a good hobby. Well, it's great to see uh, an Oregon ride like this still rolling all the way down here in Gold Beach. Yes. Thank, thank you, man. You. Thank you. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, GTO. How are you all, Lola? I was looking at this, but this is beautiful too. The sun is out, and we got ourselves a yellow Chrysler Imperial, baby. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. One of Lola's favorite rides. Look at those custom interior. Wow. Oh, look, we have a What is your name? Hannah. And where are you from? Medford, Oregon. And what have we got here? This is my 56 Bel Air. This mm -hmm. is Betty. I love it. And how long have you had Betty? About 12 years. 12 years? Okay. So did you get her in this kind of condition? No. No? Oh, wow. <laughs> got her in Junction City. Oh, wow. Okay. Some broken windows and some dents and a lot of Junction City, things. that's my that's my home territory. Oh, is that's it? Where, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, did you do the work yourself? Did you have somebody help you out with it? Um, some of it I did myself. And definitely didn't do anything paint or electrical, but the mm -hmm. brakes, the radiator. This looks like an original color. Is that what you picked? Honestly, it's a 57 color, but it's oh. my favorite color. But it's so. pretty close. It's All right. Close. Okay. Nothing's original, but it you looks. You didn't pick like a so. Ford Neon or something. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So, what's your favorite thing about your car? I love the stories that I hear when I drive by. People are like, oh, that was my first car, and oh, I had my first kiss in the back of that car, and yeah. some great stories. That's my favorite. I love it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Bossa Nova.